BBC Breakfast doved into rumours that Prince Harry might be considering a more permanent return to the UK after he and his wife Meghan Markle relocated to the USA. Presenters Naga Munchetti and Charlie State turned to royal correspondent Daniela Ralph for insights, following a statement from Harry about his upcoming 40th birthday. Harry shared with the BBC, I was anxious about 30, I'm excited about 40. Whatever the age my mission is to continue showing up and doing good in the world. He also expressed, Becoming a father of two incredibly kind and funny kids has given me a fresh perspective on life, as well as sharpening my focus in all my work. Being a dad is one of life's greatest joys and has only made me more driven and more committed to making this world a better place. Daniela reported, in recent weeks there has been speculation that Harry's next decade could include a return to the UK on a more permanent basis. But those who know him well have told me he has no interest in giving up the life he's built in America. She continued, as he heads into his 40, though, there will be some strong reasons pulling him back to the UK. The Invictus Games for Injured Servicemen and Women will be held in Birmingham in 2027 created by Harry when he was 30, it remains a personal passion ten years on. Dominic Reed, chief executive of the Invictus Games Foundation, acknowledged the deep significance the event holds for Prince Harry, saying, he's described it to me as his first child. It is a very important thing, I think it speaks very deeply to the soldier in him. Furthermore, Naga Munchetti had a conversation with royal expert Jenny Bond about Prince Harry. Jenny confessed her insights, sharing, he's got what he wanted he's in America, he's with the woman he loves, he's got kids. He always wanted kids, he lives in the sunshine yes, he's had a massive rift with his family here, but I think he's put that pretty much to one side. She then spoke of Harry's surprising statement to the BBC, his statement to the BBC, which is unusual in itself, I must say that he's very excited about the next decade, I think it's full of joy at being a parent and it confirms what I thought which is he's happy in his new life. In a stern critique, though Jenny labelled Harry a very silly boy for the ruthless claims he has made against his own kin over recent years. Nonetheless, she juxtaposed this by saying that Britain's perception of the Duke comes across as extraordinarily petty. She elaborated, the narrative here in my view has become extraordinarily petty, which seems to deride everything that Harry and Meghan do. If Harry's going to reflect on his life at 40, maybe we should reflect on what we say about them, because there is this tendency to rip them apart. Yes, he's been a very silly boy in my view, he's made some absolutely ruthless and devastating and damaging and hurtful accusations about his family. I don't think he expected it to create such a terminal rift with William, and a very, very difficult path to reconciliation with his father.